So previously we have learned that congruent figures have exactly the same shape and size. Now for this topic, we will be focusing especially on triangles. So how do we know that two triangles are exactly the same, even though their orientation may be different? So as far as you are concerned, you should memorize this. This is a summary of what you need to know. So the four rules are 1. SSS, 2. SAS, 3. AAS, and 4. RHS. So each of these letters means something. S basically stands for sides, A for angle, R for right angle, H for hypotenuse. So the first one is the obvious case. If you have two triangles and each of the side is the exact same length. So S here stands for sides. If each of the sides is the exact same length, for example, this triangle and perhaps this triangle, and they tell you that this side is the same as this, the length of this side is the same as this, and the length of the final side is the same. So if the three sides are exactly the same and you can find the corresponding sides, these two triangles are congruent triangles. So the first one, SSS, obvious case. Now for the second case, SAS, this just means that you have a triangle, two sides, and the angle in between. If you can find another triangle that has the exact same length for two of its sides and the exact same angle here, then these two triangles are also congruent. So in this example, perhaps this is the same as this side, the length here is the same as this, and theta is equal to alpha. Now in this case, these two triangles are congruent. Now one thing to note is that the angle here must be between the two sides. It needs to be the included angle. So as long as the included angles are the same and two of the sides that encapsulates this angle is the same, then your two triangles are congruent. So it's exactly the same. So for the third case, if two angles of a triangle and the corresponding side is the same, then the two triangles are also congruent. So for example, if you have this triangle and it is 80 degrees here, it's, it is 70 degrees here. So triangle A, B, C. This B, C is 10 millimeters. And you have another case where the triangle is seemingly different and it's called D, E, F. This is 30 degrees. This is 80 degrees. And D, E is 10 mm. So you can identify that this side is 10 mm, it has the same length for one of its sides, and angle E is 80, angle B is 80. So the angle opposite to the side is 70, and in this case, angle opposite to the side must be also 70 because the inner angles of the triangle add up to be 180 degrees. So 30 plus 70 plus 80 is 180. So this is also 70 degrees. So these two triangles are congruent. Now, if you do not know the side, then you can't say that the triangles are congruent. You can't say that it's exactly the same because you can zoom in or you can enlarge this triangle like a photostatic machine and the angles will be the same. So you really do need to know that the length of one side of the triangle is the same as the other side. And you do need to know that it is the same side. So the side here, 10 mm is the side that's opposite to 80. In this case, the side that is opposite to 70 degrees is the side that you know, 10 mm. And over here, the side is also the side that's opposite to 70 degrees. So it needs to be the side that is the same as this. Now, finally, the RHS, this is a special case for right angle triangles. So, so long as you have two right angle triangles and the hypotenuse is the same length, so this and this is the same, and you have another side that is the same. So it can be this side and this side. So as long as the hypotenuse and another one of the side is the same length for a right angle triangle, then you can say that these two triangles are congruent. So to summarize, you need to remember these four rules. For the triangle to be the same, it needs to satisfy either one of the four rules. So you do need to show that in a given question, 
is the length of all three sides the same? Is the inner angle and the two of the length of the sides are the same? Or you have two angles the same and the corresponding side the same? Or you have the case where the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle is the same and another side? So these four rules are how you can show that a triangle is the same as another triangle, also known as congruence testing.